Hello everyone, how are you doing? Well, it's the end of the month and you know it's time for book reports. It's um, a little tricky. I don't want to, I'm really resistant to using the book report format that we've been usually using um, because while it's been accessible at school using our Chromebooks, not everybody has access to the tools of read and write. So some of you that have enjoyed the digital drawing tools can kind of be disappointed. So what you're looking at is a Google Doc version. It's kind of like a generic book report version that um, Google has that we're going to just use. But I wanted to go over how I'm expecting you to use it because after all, you're just sharing what your book is about. You don't have to tell me everything that this book report asks. Uh, but I do want to show you how to do it because it is a little bit different. So for example, the very beginning, it says name a book. What you're supposed to do is highlight that and delete it and input using the same formatting uh, the title of your book. I'm going to be using our book here. I'm not going to give away anything, but I'm going to use this book as an example. So I'm going to say no more dead dogs. Actually, you know what? I probably should do old Shep, my pal, but I won't. All right. Scroll down and then it'll say your name. Well, no kidding. So I'm going to delete that and I'll type Matt Bagney. And then it says titled author. Well, then, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to do this. I'm going to put the title. No more dead dogs. Okay, and then, oops, didn't mean to do that. Um, the ah, Gordon Corman is the author. Gordon Corman. It is fiction, right? Why did you choose this book? You can certainly answer that. You can say I chose. I chose this book because, you know, for me, it's because it's a funny book, but it's also one that really reflects life. Okay, now here's what you do. You have a blank spot here. It says reading rainbow tip. If you're not sure what you should say about a book or what you want told, look at these questions here. You don't have to answer all the questions. Just look at it and whatever answer you have put there. What was the title interesting? Did the cover spark your curiosity? I bet those with the yellow cover do. Was it something else? Talk about why you chose the book to help your classmates understand it. So underneath, I would type, I feel like that shouldn't be it. There we go, next to it. I'm gonna start there because I want a different, I want to be the same thing. Maybe I will bold it just for the fun of it. And I'll say, when I saw the title of the book, I knew it was talking about middle school. There have always been kid stories in which the dog dies. Okay, so I did that. All right, and yes, notice I didn't answer all the questions. I just kind of did a general overview. You can answer all the questions, you just don't have to. Then there's the setting, reading rainbow tip. Think about when the story takes place. So I'm gonna click right after here, uh, put bold, and you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna see, Do I, look at that, I have voice typing available. Now when you use voice typing, don't forget to include punctuation and you can say the punctuation as you're talking all right think of it as one idea at a time and then say period so it says think about okay this book is not clear about when it happens period i do know it happens at a middle school period Then I turned off the voice typing, check what it, I don't know. I do, okay, obviously that's, see there's like a little line underneath there? I do know, so I can check that. This book is not clear about when it happens. 
and how much time passes from inside. The, describe the setting so your classmates feel they are inside the story. I think you guys would agree with me on that answer. And then rainbow reading tip, find an image online that resembles the setting. Well, this could be fun. So I'll click on underneath there. I'll go to insert. You don't have to do this. This is just, you know, do you want to do that? Search the web. And I'm just going to type middle school. <laughs> middle school memes. We know uh, 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 one of our students would love that. Um, oh, there's a middle school. All right. And we will click insert. And boom. Okay, that's fun. You don't have to do pictures. This is just it, if you want to. I mean, you know, we're, we're visual people. The characters. Rainbow reading tip. Who's the main character? What Does he have friends or helpers? Click after it. Put a bold on and say the story is mostly about two characters, Wallace and Rachel. Both have a lot of friends. Wallace is on a football team and Rachel is part of the drama club. There is also the antagon antagonist, Mr. Fogelman. And to be honest, Mr. Fogelman is not the antagonist, but I'm not gonna give away more of the novel of that plot. And here I spread things out. Here you can write normal things. How does the story start? What happens in the middle and how does it end? Now, if you didn't finish the book that you're doing a report on, you obviously don't have to worry about number three, okay? But you can tell me about what, how the book starts and what you've read so far, all right? Then think about the most important events of the story. Be careful not to retell the whole story. Just give enough details. And then here's a conclusion. And here's our favorite thing. Would you recommend the book to someone else? And the answer is yes. You can tell me how many stars you would rate it. Um, that's not what this dot is for, but you can, I don't know how you can do it, but if you want to give it a rating, you can, okay? All right, so that's how I want you to do this particular book report. You're going to have pretty much, I'm not going to post um, any more readings for this week because technically Friday was a half day and you wouldn't have reading. And I normally give you two days to do reading assignments. I also know some people need to catch up on the vocabulary activities. So this will be the last assignment posted for reading this week, though I do expect you to do um, reading logs, right? Make sure you uh, read for 15 minutes a book that you really enjoy every night. Okay, well, take care, everybody.